Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my version of a southern style red beans and rice honey okay so look it's quick it's easy it's delicious and we're jumping right into it all right y'all so look I'm starting this thing off with a heavy bottom pot I'm using my Dutch oven that ain't nothing new and we're adding two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat along with a pound of sausage y'all i'm using beef smoked sausage you can use andouille sausage i don't eat a lot of pork so i'm just gonna use the beef okay but look you want to brown it until it's crispy to your liking i like mine a little extra crispy so i'm gonna brown it for about three to five minutes get that thing on nice and brown and a little bit black on the edges okay but if you don't want yours that cooked you don't have to cook it that long but once you cook it remove it and set it to the side okay and if y'all like my tongs i will put a link in the description box okay so look here keep that same oil that's in there and add in a tablespoon of butter and here we're going to add in our aromatics so i'm going in with a fourth cup of green and red bell peppers together that makes up a half cup i'm also going to go in with a fourth cup of chopped celery and a half cup of chopped onions and look this is what you call the creole trinity you have to have the peppers, the onions, and the celery in any type of Cajun or Creole dish, okay? Now look, I'm also going to hit it with a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm adding that in last because I don't want to burn it. I don't want to overcook it. You only need to saute that for 30 seconds. So look, make sure you have your ingredients ready or you're going to burn this, okay? Now, I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of chicken base. That's the better than bouillon chicken base. If you don't plan to use that, you will need to use salt. But y'all know this base is very, very, very concentrated, which means that it is very salty. So if you use it, it will take the place of salt. All right. And once you get all of that going, you're going to add in about two and a half cups of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use water or beef broth. It's totally up to you. But I'm using chicken broth in this case. And it's going to also help to scrape some of those bits that's down in the bottom of that pot. Okay. Now, what makes this so quick is the fact that I'm using canned red beans. Now, a lot of people be tripping to my, I got to soak these beans overnight. Let me tell you something. I don't have the time to soak no beans. So I'm using these red beans that I found in Publix and they are just as good. And the best part about it is you can have your red beans tonight instead of waiting two damn days. Okay. So look, we're going to do this the easy way. All right. Still flavorful, still delicious. Just cutting out some of the time. All right. And speaking of time, go ahead and add in two bay leaves and two sprigs of thyme. You can also substitute that for dried thyme if need be. And we're gonna season this up with a teaspoon of black pepper as well as a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You know, that's we gotta throw that in there. It's not gonna make it too spicy. And also, you want just a scratch of oregano. Once you get those in, you're gonna combine it. Now remember, I told you the chicken base is highly concentrated. As you can see, I did not add any salt because it did not need it, honey. So if you do that, please make sure you taste it before you add any additional salt. So next, you wanna add in a few optional dashes of hot sauce and reduce your heat to low and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. You guys, it is so important that you simmer it because all of that liquid is going to evaporate so you can get that nice thick consistency. And once you get it to the consistency that you want, honey, go ahead and add in your sausage now like i said that liquid should have reduced at this point by the time you add in the sausage if not you may want to reduce your liquid a little bit longer by letting it simmer longer and this is the consistency that you want honey look at that y'all come on now look at that oh and side note red beans and kidney beans are two different beans they're both red but they're different all right so look let's go ahead and plate this up And there you have it guys, our delicious, quick and easy, southern style red beans and rice honey. And y'all, look, I'm gonna serve it with some fried chicken 
and some good old uh, southern style cornbread both of those recipes you can find on my channel i'll make sure to link them in the description box for you and that's it y'all this is gonna make the perfect sunday dinner you ain't gotta stand over the stove all day and guess what it's also a perfect weeknight meal okay so look, if you try this recipe out let me know down in the comments and i want to thank y'all for watching as always thank you for tuning in to my channel and if you try it out once again let me know okay and i'll see y'all next time in the next video Bye.